Hello everyone, what's up? In this video, I'll introduce to you a camera application called JOCOM 3, which has a geotagging feature. Geotagging is the process of attaching the information or the geographic coordinates such as latitude, longitude, and altitude of a location to images, videos, and other media. At this point, maybe you're wondering, why do we need to install the JOCAM application? Well, as per the memorandum dated January 6, 2021, from the Bureau of the Treasury, let me quote. The Bureau of the Treasury will be implementing the National Indemnity Insurance Program, or the NIIP of the government, which will provide insurance coverage for the strategically important assets, in particular, the physical assets of the Department of Education. Having said that, all schools of the Division of Leyte are requested to provide the Department of Education geotagged picture of each of the physical assets located in their respective campuses. Physical assets are all the structures located in the school campus, and this include school buildings, stand-alone structures like toilets, hand-washing facilities, and others. Further, they also need to take geotagged picture of the pergola for identification purposes. And now, let me show you how to install the application. The first thing that you need to do is to go to Google Play Store. Then, in the search box, type JOCOM free. And once you've found the application, just tap install. Installing the application will take some time. And once you have the application installed, Go back to your home screen. This will be the icon of the application. But before running the application, make sure that the GPS or the location is turned on. Then, you may now open the application. Upon opening the application, permissions will be asked. Just tap Allow. And then, Allow only while using this app. Again, tap Allow. So there you have it. That will be the screen of our camera. But as you notice, there are a lot of stops appearing on the screen of the camera, when in fact we only need the latitude, the longitude, the altitude, the date, and the time. So we need to get rid of the stops that we don't need. A way to do that is to tap anywhere on the screen and at the bottom right corner tap the setting icon then tap set tap display then uncheck the boxes that we don't need such as compass each row cursor numeric values Compass in meal, numeric in percent, and compass calibration. And then go back, tap GPS, and then change the format of our latitude and our longitude to decimal. And now, let's go back to the screen of the camera. And on your screen should appear the latitude, the longitude, the altitude, the date, and the time. Just below the latitude and the longitude is an information that tells us the accuracy of our geographic coordinates. The lesser the number that appears here, the more accurate our coordinates are. The green one here is also an indication of the accuracy of the coordinates. When it is green, as you see on the screen, that tells us 
that our coordinates are more accurate. And once it is yellow, that means that our coordinates are fair accurate. And once it is red, that means that our coordinates are less accurate. So now, once your screen appears the same as mine, you are now all set to take pictures of the structures. Just take note that the structure you're taking picture of must fit in the screen, meaning to say you must take picture of the whole structure itself. So let us now take a picture of the building by tapping the capture icon. Then below here, just put check on both of the boxes. This means that two pictures will be taken, one with the information that we need and the other without. Then tap save. To view the saved images, just tap anywhere on the screen and at the bottom left corner tap the gallery icon. Here in your gallery is where all the pictures taken are stored. And as you can see, two pictures were captured. One that is just a plain picture, and the other which has the coordinates. Once you're done taking geotagged picture of all the structures, transfer them or copy them to your computer or laptop and put them inside a folder. And in order for the files that you will be sending to be traced faster and easier, the name of the folder must contain the school ID number, the name of the school, and the municipality where the school is located. As an example, I have here with me a folder with a name that contains the school ID number, which is 123456, and the name of the school, which is Juan ES and the municipality where the school is located. Inside a folder are the geotag picture of all the structures. Take note that only the geotag pictures or the pictures with the geographic coordinates must be included in the folder. And then rename all the files. Right click on each file and then click rename. Take note that renaming the school buildings must be synchronized with your updated site development plan. As an example, the first image is renamed to Building 1 DPWH 1 Story 3 Classrooms. That means that the same building is the Building 1 in the site development plan. In addition, a scanned copy of your updated site development plan must also be included in the folder. Once you're done renaming all the files, go back to the folder. Right click on the folder, then click Add to RAR. This will create a compressed file copy of your folder. Then go to your email account, compose a new message, and in the recipient box, type engineering.late at deped.gov.ph Type the subject as geotagging underscore school ID underscore name of school underscore and the municipality where the school is located. Click the attach icon and choose the compressed file. Once the size of the file we are sending exceeds 25 megabytes, the maximum file size allowed in email, it will automatically be sent as a Google Drive link. And once you're done attaching the file, click send. So there you have it. At this point, let's take a recap on what physical assets should be taken geotagged pictures of. And these are school buildings, standalone structures, and pergola. 
you may send the geotag pictures including a scanned copy of updated site development plan via email at engineering.late at deped.gov.ph. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and have a great day.